Hello, welcome to another Alpha Strike We Play video. I'm joined by Taryn. Hey buddy. Right, um, we are looking at the mechs that we painted up. As you know, I went Clan Fire Mandrel. Yes. Right. So, so the one you picked out for me was the Storm Crow. Yes. So now done. Yeah, yeah. So they, uh, who do I go? So there's Clan Fire Mandrel, they're a bit weird because yeah, they're like, yeah. they have the blood names, the actual blood names form their own little, kin, what they call Kindra. So you've got Clan Fire Mandrel, but it's sort of split into little mini clans yeah. based on the blood names. Because oh, everyone has blood troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they've, you've got all these different. They'll, they'll ally together if an outside clan threatens them, because that's how it is, but they, yeah. there's all this internal politics and fighting and all that sort of thing. I just, I thought it was quite interesting. So I said, oh, it's that very cool. Like that. So, yeah. so I had a look through all of them. I already have like a small collection for Kindra, Bale, Grant. Okay. So those guys with their blood names, they focus a lot on sort of aerospace stuff. Yeah, I remember mentioning that. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. And they, they, they had like a, just like an orange color, pretty much. Maybe some black accents or different okay. kinds of things, but it was mostly orange. So I wanted to paint something a little different that I could use side by side with them or battle across, <laughs> you know? Yep. So, yep, yep, yep. so something that's a different color scheme. So I ended up going with Kindra Matilla Carol. They use what you see here. So it's like a yellow, it doesn't say whether it's bright yellow or anything like that. It's just a yellow. So yellow I went for like a, like a bit of a mustardy sort of look. Yeah. So it's a bit toned down. But it does have the red accents. So yeah. it's yellow with the red. I did paint a red bum. <laughs> and I did paint the cockpit blue. So, you know, blue face, red, red bum. Because <laughs> of the <laughs> Because of the do with the others. So I'll just do a little. So I'm reading from, this is an older book. I was going to say, that's an old book. But you could probably get some more information through the internet. But I think they still have it as a PDF that you can get. Probably. That. So I'm just going to read out here. It's page 40, 43. So, Matilla Carroll. So they are one of the stronger Kindra. They're currently looking to supplement Kindra Pain among the top three. Okay. So, Pain, Kindra Pain had a lot of leaders. Mm -hmm. So they're sort of, their blood names very strong for... So they're fairly high up. So they're high up. Yeah. So they're not, okay. a big, they're not a big Kindra. So... But, but they're, they're high up in the but they're respected, role. yeah. So they it's very mech warrior orientated and things like that. So um, the Matilla uh, blood heritages concentrate on mech warriors and elementals, while the Carol blood heritage focuses on mech warriors and aerospace pilots. Okay. So that's pretty cool. That's very cool. You've got to balance and things mm -hmm. like that. So uh, the two together always produce mech warriors with battlefield skill primarily coming from the Matilla side and a combination of instincts and tactical genius from the Carol blood. The Carol bloodline contains Kerensky DNA mixed in from the clan's early days. They are the only clan outside of Clan Wolf that has Kerensky. Nice. To the point, like Clan Wolf defends it, they will, they will literally put up their whole clan to defend that blood name, to even yeah. get access to it. To, that. to the DNA heritage. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Kerensky, as we know, the history so important and things like that, so yeah. a, a, big, a big thing. So they have shifted loyalties when it comes to the debate between Crusaders and Wardens. So okay. for those of you who don't know about it, the clans, when they invaded initially, and they, they had their in, uh, attacks against the Comstar, who fought them off and things like that, mm -hmm. it then split into Wardens who wanted to show the inner sphere what the clans can do by not using as much force. Yep. Whereas the Crusaders said, no, let's just wipe them We're going to do it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so some Kindra are sort of Crusader, some have Warden tendencies, even though this is in the Crusader clan. So overall, they do believe in going to the inner sphere and kicking butt. And just, just kick butt, take over, do it our way or get out. That's right. Yeah. So they have switched allegiances before, though they have remained strongly Crusader since the truce. Okay. All right. So, so yeah. But that's that is their that is their color scheme. And it's a very cool one. I like it. I mm. think it looks groovy. So like yourself, I went with the Reaper paints. Yep. Um, I find them to be very good. I did. They did say that you don't need to use a base coat. I was going to say you did yours without primer or anything. So I I said, look, let's let's test this out. So it was the basic grey that you get out of the box. 
I just cleaned it first with some detergent, mm -hmm. and water detergent, because that gets a lot of the, because a lot of these are made in, like the machines have like a, a release agent to pull it out. So oh, yeah, yeah, Cut yeah. it and build it and things like that. So you want to, I wanted all of that gone. I didn't want it to, to cause any problems with the paint. So I gave it a good, a good, just got a little uh, toothbrush, just a soft toothbrush, and just, okay. just clean it off. So really simple. doesn't take too long. And something that you should consider doing if mm. you haven't done it. And it means you don't need a primer. Then. For, for these paints, yeah, yeah it worked really And that's well. pretty good. So there's a lot of people being going, oh, no, you should have a, a primer. And gray, a gray primer is quite popular. Mm. But I said, look, I'm going to, I'm going to try it. So I started with a, it's like a mustard color. It was, it was brighter than this mm. because I did have the intention of using some sort of wash. I was going to say, you've got to wash everything. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, you notice it, we talked about it just briefly before about how, how much detail is on these figures. It's yeah. crazy. You know, all these little, little nooks and crannies. I really wanted to bring those out. So I started with the, the basic mustard, did it right over. Yep. Then I got a red, I can't, and painted black in all the little gun ports and across the, in there. I didn't do the blue yeah. straight away, I just yep. did it black. Then once that was dry, I had Devlin mud. Yep. A lot of people are like, oh man, I haven't seen Devlin mud for ages. I just happened to have some, <laughs> but that was, that's a games workshop paint. Yeah. Just, that's just what I had, so I was doing some experimenting. So it wasn't all Reaper that I use, but that's the only but that's Reaper. Like a, is that a fairly dark brown wash? Yes, yep. yes. Mm -hmm. But I I did, I did watered it down a little bit, okay. but not a lot. I just wanted to see how dark it would come up. So I did all that, and it dried, and then I just went over again in the original paint to get all the little highlight bits and pieces. So where it was had splotches of brown, which it, it can have. Mm. So it was really good. It went in and it's brought out all this detail, but I just wanted to go over and clean up any bits and pieces and things like that. And that's, that was it. I didn't do any sort of extra mixing of paints to get lighter colors and no. other things. I just, I just went straight with that. And then right. painted, painted the cockpit blue. Yeah. And that's, that was the painting. And then it's just a matter of, this is the army painter terrain bits in the bottom so yeah it was um like a green flock and a, a like a brown it's not it's it looks like stone but i think they make it out of they crush down cork or something it's like cork. It's probably cork yeah because yeah. it's, it's it's quite light and mm -hmm. they just color it so i just i painted the bottom bit brown the edges were black because I, I wanted to go for a black trim on all the bases. Oh, yeah, Some of the others that I've done, I've, I've yep. done either brown or the old goblin green from Games Workshop, <laughs> remember that? It's like, poor. I'm looking at them now, I'm thinking I might just go over them in black or brown again, just to, because it's like, oh, just like tying it all up. Yeah. But it worked well. So painted it just a brown on the bottom, bit of watered down PVA glue, put it all in there, put the brown stuff straight on, mm -hmm. and immediately, put another layer of glue in patches to put the green on because it's all, it doesn't, it didn't move that much and it's, it was yeah. quite good. So, and that all just sinks in because you've watered it down, it soaks into everything and then the water bit sort of dries up and it sets, sets hard. Okay. So that's, that's I'm going to have to give that a crack. Yeah. Cause that looks really, really good. Yeah. It, it actually worked quite good. Yeah. So that's, that's what I did. And then I, I basically, so I did opposite to you. I just picked the mech that I wanted. I said, let's, let's, <laughs> let's see what happens in hindsight. When I was thinking about it, I probably should just grab another one. But, <laughs> but, but it, it turned out brilliant. It turned out brilliant. Yeah. That so looks really, really good. So it turned out really good. So I said, oh, well, there's the one, but you know, I'm, I had some others there. So. I picked some at random out of the box and I want some heavies and some assaults and lights, just a, a bit of a balance of everything. So that's what I did. This, this one is, he's nice. It, it came up really good. Yeah. That's one of the first ones. So these a little bit lighter, but they all, they will match in. So I sort of watered down the wash a little bit more. It's sort of, ex, like you, I experimented with all of these other four after this one. Yeah. But, but that's so it. All. Looking at the ones that you've done, I definitely want to put a wash on mine, like a, a brown, just a light brown on there, just yeah. to bring the detail out more because that you can see all the little nooks and crannies and things in there. Yeah. You got all the little vent ports and panelling and all that sort of stuff. It comes out really brilliantly with a wash. Yeah. With a lighter colour, you, you really do need to focus on pulling out those little shadow details because mm. it just stands out so much and it looks really good. 
So yours is a darker, a darker color. I mean, you could, if you did a heavy, like Devlin mud wash, it would bring that yeah. out. But you I've got a, a I've got a couple of brown washes that would probably bring it out. I've got a sepia wash. I've got a couple of dark grays actually, but I've got the wash medium that Reaper does as well. There you go. So yeah. you can basically make your own Anything wash you any color. Yeah, that's good. So I could probably mix up a nice dark red, like really dark red, mm. and and do a thin wash of that over the top and see how that goes. But we'll figure that out later. So your red may have worked on that too. Now you're talking yeah, about it. Yeah, might have done. But yeah. Um, yeah, I was I was happy with the way that came out. Oh, they look brilliant, run. mate. And I'll do some. So like yourself, you're going to do wolf. I might I might continue this scheme for my. Invasion clan invasion box set. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, so continue, continue on with the Matilla Carol. Yeah, the yellow. Yeah, yeah. and just okay. get a bigger force. But I don't know. A lot of the games that we play are about this size. So yeah, and if you I'm, get a lot of um, <coughs> like you just said in the in the book there, they're saying there is a lot of mech warriors and elementals in there. So that that makes sense. Yeah, that um, you might want to try a different Kindra for the next lot, maybe. Just have it. Yeah, well, I mean, you've got five or something to pick from so yeah. you've got five different color schemes for the one clan which gives you a bit of variety yeah that's pretty cool i would like to add some protomex in there so that was yeah they, sh they should yeah they will get access to them for a little while in the yeah. timeline okay so i'd like to do that because they're all like flopped aerospace pilots for whatever reason ah. they put those into the protomex so there's aerospace, especially for Bale Grant. Maybe I could go back and do some for Bale Grant because they Grant. focus a lot on aerospace. Just something a little different. Protomex are very, I find them fascinating. <laughs> I find them very fascinating. But, uh, but well, I, like, I like that. It came out really good. Yeah, they turned out I think for good. tabletop, they are definitely sufficient. And I think with that brighter color, they stand out. People will sort of Yeah, people notice will notice them. those. You go, wow, those look awesome. So with your camouflage and me not have any, with a big red bottom and a big blue face, you, you shouldn't have any problems shooting at me. Right, your low target. Let's see how we go, mate. Hopefully I'll be able to manage to hit that. Yeah. But that's it. But, but they, yeah. they turned out really, really well, Ben. I'm really, that's really cool. When, when things are actually working out or whatever, when you're painting them, it just, it feels good. You get invigorated and you want to paint more. You zen out and start going, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom, 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 <laughs> Nice. See, i got to try and figure out how to do Tiger Stripes on a Fortress class dropship, so. <laughs> mm, yeah, nah. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep the Fortress for the uh, War Dogs, actually. I'm, I'm planning on getting the... Um, Armoured combat thing and doing up the war dogs. Oh yeah. I've, I've got an idea for a paint scheme. Nice. So I might do that. Hey, maybe we could do that as a video too. Uh, Your mercenaries and mercenary force. What's yep. happened? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. First mission against the clans. We'll ease you into combat. <laughs> Why are they shooting at us from so far away? Battle value it's versus battle value. I might even actually take you up on that. Salvage. Imagine the salvage. money. Clan salvage. Uh, stuff that. You keep the weapons in stock. You stick them in your machine. <laughs> <mansion. laughs> Sell true. your weapons. Yep. That's the way to go. It's not always compatible. That's a good thing about the Omnis though. It doesn't matter. You can just... Yeah. You can... When the Intersphere finally figured out the Omni technology, they just... Pods just... Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. It's quality. Oh. That's awesome paint job, man. Very cool. Let's let's get them on the field of battle and, yeah, and think blow so. them up, eh? I think so. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right, so Thank that's you. that's what we've done. So yep. we have our battle coming up. So hopefully you can uh, see that very soon. Do some on the channel. Sell brigand rules before we get into the battle, Indeed. so you know what's going on. Indeed. Because it's stupid, but interesting. 